Angen, Nidaros and Trondheim, is a city and municipality in Trondelag County, Norway. It has a population of 193,501, fourth quarter 2017, and is the third most populous municipality in Norway, although the fourth largest urban area. It is the third largest city in the country, with a population, 2013, of 169,972 inhabitants within the city borders. Trondheim lies on the south shore of Trondheim Fjord at the mouth of the river Nidalva. The city is dominated by the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, NTNU, the Foundation for Scientific and Industrial Research, SINTH, St. Olaf's University Hospital and other technology-oriented institutions. The settlement was founded in 997 as a trading post, and it served as the capital of Norway during the Viking Age until 1217. From 1152 to 1537, the city was the seat of the Catholic Archdiocese of Nidaros. Since then, it has remained the seat of the Lutheran Diocese of Nidaros and the Nidaros Cathedral. It was incorporated in 1838. The current municipality dates from 1964, when Trondheim merged with Beinset, Leinstrand, Strinda, and Tiller. The city functions as the seat of the county mayor of Trondelag County, but not as the administrative center, which is Steinshire. This is to make the county more efficient and not too centralized, as Trondelag is the second largest county in Norway. The city was originally given the name by Olaf Tryggvason. It was for a long time called, or in the Old Norse spelling. But it was also just called, city, or, more specifically, the city in the district, i.e., Trondelag. In the late Middle Ages people started to call the city just. In the Dano-Norwegian period, during the years as a provincial town in the United Kingdoms of Denmark-Norway, the city name was spelled dot. Following the example set by the renaming of the capital to Oslo, was reintroduced as the official name of the city for a brief period from 1 January 1930 until March 6, 1931. The name was restored in order to reaffirm the city's link with its glorious past despite the fact that a 1928 referendum on the name of city had resulted in 17,163 votes in favor of and only 1,508 votes in favor of Nidaros. Public outrage later in the same year, even taking the form of riots, forced the storting to settle for the medieval city named Trondheim. The name of the diocese was, however, changed from to, in 1918. Trondheim was briefly named during the Second World War, as a German exonym historically, indicates the area around Trondheim Fjord. The spelling Trondheim was officially rejected, but many still prefer that spelling of the city's name. Trondheim was named Kopangen, by Viking King Olav Tryggvason in 997. Shortly thereafter it came to be called Nidaros. In the beginning it was frequently used as a military retainer, Old Norse, herdman, of King Olav I. It was frequently used as the seat of the king, and was the capital of Norway until 1217. People have been living in the region for thousands of years as evidenced by the rock carvings in central Norway, the Nostved and Lihul cultures and the Kordenware culture. In ancient times, the kings of Norway were hailed at Horetengud in Trondheim, the place for the assembly of all free men by the mouth of the river Nidalva. Harald Fairhair, 865-933, was hailed as the king here, as was his son, Hakanai, called the good. The Battle of Kalfskin it took place in Trondheim in 1179. King Sverre Sigurdsson and his Birkabiner warriors were victorious against Erling Skaki, a rival to the throne. Some scholars believe that the famous Lewis Chessmen, 12th century chess pieces carved from walrus ivory found in the Hebrides and now at the British Museum, may have been made in Trondheim. Trondheim was the seat of the Archbishop of Nidaros for Norway from 1152 who operated from the Archbishop's Palace. Due to the introduction of Lutheran Protestantism in 1537, the last Archbishop, Olav Engelbrechtsen, had to flee from the city to the Netherlands, where he died in present-day Lyre, Belgium. The city has experienced several major fires. Since much of the city was made of wooden buildings, many of the fires caused severe damage. Great fires ravaged the city in 1598, 1651, 1681, 1708, twice in 1717, 1742, 1788, 1841 and 1842, however, these were only the worst cases and there have been several smaller fires in the city. The 1651 fire destroyed 90% of all buildings within the city limits. The fire in 1681, the Hornman fire, 
led to an almost total reconstruction of the city, overseen by General Johann Kasper von Sissignon, originally from Luxembourg. Broad avenues like Munkegaden were created, with no regard for property rights, in order to stop the next fire. At the time, the city had a population of roughly 8,000 inhabitants. After the Treaty of Ruskela on February 26, 1658, Trondheim and the rest of Trondelag became Swedish territory for a brief period, but the area was reconquered ten months later. The conflict was finally settled by the Treaty of Copenhagen on May 27, 1660. During the Second World War, Trondheim was occupied by Nazi Germany from April 9, 1940, the first day of the invasion of Norway, until the end of the war in Europe, May 8, 1945. The German invasion force consisted of the German cruiser Admiral Hipper, four destroyers and 1,700 Austrian mountain troops. Other than a coastal battery opening fire, there was no resistance to the invasion on 9th of April at 5 a.m. On 14 and 17th of April, British and French forces landed near Trondheim in a failed attempt to liberate Trondheim as part of the Namsos campaign. During the occupation, Trondheim was the home of the notorious Norwegian Gestapo agent, Henry Rinnen who operated from a nearby villa and infiltrated Norwegian resistance groups. The city and its citizens were also subject to harsh treatment by the occupying powers, including imposition of martial law in October 1942. During this time the Germans turned the city and its environs into a major base for submarines, which included building the large submarine base in Bunker Dora I, and also contemplated a scheme to build a new city for 300,000 inhabitants, Nordstern, Northern Star centered southwest of Trondheim, near the wetlands of Voice and in the outskirts of Mellis municipality. This new metropolis was to be accompanied by a massively expanded version of the already existing naval base, which was intended to become the primary future stronghold of the German Kriegsmarine. Today, there are few physical remains of this enormous construction project. The city of Trondheim was established on January 1, 1838, see for Mons Caps district. On January 1, 1864, part of Strinda, population, 1,229, was amalgamated with Trondheim. Then, on January 1, 1893, another part of Strinda, population, 4,097, was transferred to Trondheim. On January 1, 1952, the late area of Strinda, population, 2,230, was transferred to Trondheim. On January 1, 1964, a major municipal merger took place, the neighboring municipalities of Lionstrand, population, 4,193, Beinset, population, 2,049, Strinda, population, 44,600, and Tiller, population, 3,595, were all merged with the city of Trondheim, population, 56,982, which nearly doubled the population of the municipality. A transfer of Klebu population, 6,050, to Trondheim is planned for January 1, 2020. The coat of arms dates back to the 13th century. To the left, there is an archbishop with his staff and mitre in a church archway. On the right, a crowned king holding scales in a castle archway. These two pictures rest on a base which forms an arch. Underneath that arch, are three male heads which symbolize the city's rank as Norway's first capital and the archbishop's place of residence. The scales symbolize justice and the motif is based on the political philosophy of the 13th century, where the balance of power between king and church was an important issue. The three heads at the bottom may symbolize the city council. The motif is unique in Norwegian municipal heraldry, but similar motifs are found in bishopric cities on the continent. The design of the coat of arms that was adopted in 1897, and is still used today, was made by Håkon Thorsen. Jews began to settle in Trondheim in 1880, after the change of the Norwegian constitution in 1851, granting Jews permission to settle in Norway. The first synagogue in Trondheim was established in 1899, and a newer one came into use by 1925. By 1900, 119 Jews were living in Trondheim reaching 260 by 1940. The Nazi regime confiscated the synagogue in 1941, and used it for military uses. In January 1942, the town Jews' identification cards were a stamped with the letter J, and confiscations started to be more and more common. Shortly after, Jews from Trondheim began to emigrate to Sweden. The rest were sent to Auschwitz in October 1942. In 1945, after the end of the war, 
around 80 Jews returned to the city. Out of the 135 individuals sent to Auschwitz, only five remained in Norway. It is unclear how many others, if any, survived. The synagogue was repaired in 1947. In May 1997, a Jewish museum was opened in Trondheim. At the turn of the 21st century, 120 Jews were living in Trondheim. Trondheim is situated where the river Nidlva meets Trondheim fjord with an excellent harbor and sheltered condition. The river used to be deep enough for most boats in the Middle Ages. An avalanche of mud and stones made it less navigable and partly ruined the harbor in the mid 17th century. The municipality's top elevation is the Storia Hill, above sea level. At the summer solstice, the sun rises at 3 o'clock and sets at 2340, but stays just below the horizon. There is no darkness. No need for artificial lighting outdoors, from 23 May to 19 July under cloud-free conditions. At the winter solstice, the sun rises at 10.01, stays very low above the horizon, at midday its altitude is slightly more than 3 degrees over the horizon, and sets at 14.31. Trondheim City has an oceanic climate. The part of the municipality further away from the fjord has colder winters. The part close to the fjord, such as the city center, has milder winters. Trondheim is mostly sheltered from the strong south and southwesterly winds which can occur along the outer seaboard. Trondheim experiences moderate snowfall from November to March, but mixed with mild weather and rainfall. Based on the 1971 to 2000 average recorded at the airport, there are 14 days each winter with at least of snow cover on the ground and 22 days with a daily minimum temperature of or less. There is often more snow and later snowmelt in suburban areas at somewhat higher elevation, such as Biasin and Heimdall with good skiing conditions in Bimarka. Spring often sees much sunshine, but nights can be chilly. Temperatures have tended to be warmer in recent years. The Trondelag area has seen average temperatures increase by almost in the last 25 years. All the monthly record lows are from 1955 or older, with half of them from before 1920. The all-time high was recorded July 22, 1901, and the all-time low in February 1899. The most exceptional record is the May record low from 1900, 3.7 degrees Celsius colder than the second coldest May night. The earliest weather stations were located closer to the city center, Trondheim, 58 meters, but from 1945 the only weather station has been located further formed center and at a higher elevation, Val, 127 meters and Tyholt, 113 meters, thus at a colder location. The lapse rate is approximately per so the city center will be about warmer than Val, while higher altitudes than Val will be accordingly colder. Three of the monthly record highs are from after 2000. From 1982 to 1993 the city had weather station at Tyholt, 113 meters, while Val was not operational. Temperatures have warmed in recent decades. The last overnight frost in June was in 1958 and the coldest night in May after year 2000 had low minus 2.7 degrees Celsius. A new sun recorder was established by Met.no in the city of Glosshaugen in late 2015, and recorded 1,592 sun hours in 2016 and 1,576 sun hours in 2017. Earlier sun recorders had blocking issues due to terrain. Br. The city has various wetland habitats, among which there is the Kolozen. The observation tower accommodates for bird watching and providing information about bird life. Despite Trondheim being Norway's third largest city, wild animals can be seen. Otters and beavers thrive in Nidlv and Bimarka. Badgers and foxes are not uncommon sights. Moose and deer are common in the hills surrounding the city, and might wander into the city, especially in May when the one year olds are chased away by their mothers, or in late winter when food grows scarce in the snow covered higher regions. From 2002 until 2017, a wolverine lived in Bimarka. Most of Trondheim city center is scattered with small speciality shops. However, the main shopping area is concentrated around the pedestrianized streets Nordre Gate, Olaf Trygvasenskate and Thomas Angels Gate even though the rest of the city center is provided with everything from old, well-established companies to new, hip and trendy shops. In the mid to late 1990s, the area surrounding the old dry dock and ship construction buildings of the defunct Trondheim's Mechanisk Verkstad Ship Building Company at the Nadri Elfhaven was renovated and old industrial buildings were torn down to make way for condominiums. A shopping center was also built, known as Salsiden, the sunny side. This is a popular residential and shopping area, especially for young people. 
Dora 1 is a German submarine base that housed the 13th U-boat flotilla during the Second World War occupation of Norway. Today the bunker houses various archives, among them the city archives, the university and state archives. More recently, Dora has been used as a concert venue. Christiansen Fortress, built 1681-1684, is located on a hill east in Trondheim. It repelled the invading Swedes in 1718, but was decommissioned in 1816 by Crown Prince Regent Charles John. A statue of Olav Tryggvason, the founder of Trondheim, is located in the city's central square, mounted on top of an obelisk. The statue base is also a sundial, but it is calibrated to UTC plus 1 so that the reading is inaccurate by one hour in the summer. The islet Munkholmen is a popular tourist attraction and recreation site. The islet has served as a place of execution, a monastery, a fortress, prison, and a Second World War anti-aircraft gun station. Stifts Garden is the royal residence in Trondheim, originally constructed in 1774 by Cecily Christine Schaller. At 140 rooms constituting, it is possibly the largest wooden building in Northern Europe, and has been used by royals and their guests since 1800. A statue of Leif Erikson is located at the seaside, close to the old customs building, the cruise ship facilities and the new swimming hall. The statue is a replica, the original being located at a Seattle marina. The Nadaros Cathedral and the Archbishop's Palace are located side by side in the middle of the city center. The cathedral, built from 1070 on, is the most important Gothic monument in Norway and was Northern Europe's most important Christian pilgrimage site during the Middle Ages with pilgrimage routes leading to it from Oslo and southern Norway and from the Jampland and Vermland regions of Sweden. Today, it is the northernmost medieval cathedral in the world, and the second largest in Scandinavia. During the Middle Ages, and again after independence was restored in 1814, the Nidaros Cathedral was the coronation church of the Norwegian kings. King Hakon VII was the last monarch to be crowned there, in 1906. Starting with King Olav V in 1957, Coronation was replaced by consecration. In 1991, the present King Harold V and Queen Sonia were consecrated in the cathedral. On May 24, 2002, their daughter Princess Martha Louise married the writer Ari Ben in the cathedral. The Pilgrim's Route, Pilgrimsolden, to the site of St. Olaf's tomb at Nidaros Cathedral, has recently been reinstated. Also known as St. Olaf's Way, Zonkt Olaf's Bay, the main route, which is approximately long starts in Oslo and heads north, along Lake Mjosa, up the valley Gudbrandstalen, over the mountain range Dovrfjell and down the Iptal Valley to end at Nidaros Cathedral in Trondheim. There is a pilgrim's office in Oslo which gives advice to pilgrims in a pilgrim center in Trondheim, under the aegis of the cathedral, which awards certificates to successful pilgrims upon the completion of their journey. The Lutheran Church of Norway has 21 churches within the municipality of Trondheim. They are all a part of the Diocese of Nidaros, which is based in Trondheim at the Nidaros Cathedral. Many of the churches are several hundred years old, with a couple which were built almost 1,000 years ago. The Roman Catholic Sankt Olaf Domkirk is the Cathedral Episcopal See of the exempt territorial prelature of Trondheim. The Trondheim Museum of Arts has Norway's third largest public art collection, mainly Norwegian art from the last 150 years. The National Museum of Decorative Arts boasts a large collection of decorative arts and design, including a great number of tapestries from the Norwegian tapestry artist Hanna Rygen, as well as Norway's only permanent exhibition of Japanese arts and crafts. Sversborg, also named Zion after King David's castle in Jerusalem, was a fortification built by Sverre Sigurdsson. It is now an open-air museum, consisting of more than 60 buildings. The castle was originally built in 1182 to 1183, but did not last for long as it was burned down in 1188. However, the Spira Saga indicates it had been restored by 1197. Trondheim Science Museum is a scientific hands-on experience center. The Museum of Natural History and Archaeology is part of the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. There are also a variety of small history, science and natural history museums, such as the Trondheim Maritime Museum, the Armory, adjacent to the Archbishop's Palace, the Music and Musical Instrument Museum Ringed National Museum, Ringed Botanical Garden, the Trondheim Tramway Museum, and the Jewish Museum, co-located with the city synagogue, which is among the northernmost in the world. Rockheim, the National Discovery Center for Pop and Rock opened at the pier in August 2010. 
It is located inside an old warehouse, but characterized by an easily recognizable roof in the shape of a box. The box is decorated by thousands of tiny lights that change in a variety of colors and patterns, and is a landmark in the cityscape, especially on dark winter evenings. The municipality is governed by a municipal council of elected representatives, which in turn elect a mayor. On January 1, 2005, the city was reorganized from five boroughs into four, with each of these having separate social services offices. The current boroughs are Mid Bayan, 44,967 inhabitants, OST Bayan, 42,707 inhabitants, Lur Kendal, 46,603 inhabitants, and Heimdall. 30,744, inhabitants. The population statistics listed are as of January 1, 2008. Prior to 2005, Trondheim was divided into the boroughs Centrum, Strinda, Nardo, Biasen and Heimdall. The city council, Biestirat, of Trondheim is made up of 67 representatives that are elected every four years. Prior to 2011, there were 85 city council members, but this number was reduced to 67 in 2011. Currently, the party breakdown is as follows. Trondheim is home to both the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, NTNU, with its many technical lab facilities and disciplines, and by Trondheim, a satellite campus for the Norwegian Business School, BI. Both universities welcome a number of international students on a yearly basis and offer various scholarships. St. Olaf's University Hospital, a regional hospital for central Norway, is located in downtown Trondheim. St. Olaf's is a teaching hospital and cooperates closely with the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, NTNU, on both research and medical education. SINTH, the largest independent research organization in Scandinavia, has 1,800 employees with 1,300 of these located in Trondheim. The Air Force Academy of the Royal Norwegian Air Force is located at Kuhaugen in Trondheim. The Geological Survey of Norway is located at Leiden Trondheim and is a major geoscientific institution with 220 employees of which 70% are scientists. There are 11 high schools in the city. Trondheim Katedralskol, Trondheim Cathedral School, was founded in 1152 and is the oldest upper secondary school gymnasium in Norway, while Brundel and Vidi Regende School is the largest in Sortrundelag with its 1,100 students and 275 employees. Brundel and School has big festivals each year and is building out to increase space. Ela School was founded in 1770 and is the oldest primary school in Trondheim. It receives and is the largest regional newspaper and the oldest active newspaper in Norway. Having been established in 1767. The two headquarters of the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation, NRK, are located at in Trondheim, and in Oslo. The student press of Trondheim features three types of media. Under Dusken is the student paper, Radio Revolt is the student radio, and student TV broadcasts videos online. Radio stations established in Trondheim include Trondelag focused opt out feeds of NRK P1 and NRK P1. Local versions of NRK Trafik and P5 Hits, Radio Trondheim, and Radio 247. Along with Norway's national radio stations, they can be listened to on DAB Plus across most of Trondelag, as well as on Internet Radio. The main regional theatre, Trondelag Theater, is situated in Trondheim. Built in 1816, the theatre is the oldest theatre still in use in Scandinavia. The city also features an alternative theatre house, Theaterhaus at Avon Garden and the theatre company Teeter Fuse and Haze. Trondheim has a broad music scene, and is known for its strong communities committed to rock, jazz and classical music. The city's interest in jazz and classical music are spearheaded by the Music Conservatory at NTNU which has been called one of the most innovative in the world, and the Municipal Music School, Trondheim Communale Music OG Kultorskol. The Trondheim Symphony Orchestra and the Trondheim Soloists are well known. The city also hosts the yearly jazz festival and is home to Trondheim Jazz Orchestra. Classical artists hailing from Trondheim include violinist Arv Tellefsen, Elise Battens, and Marianne Thorsen. Also the Nadaros Cathedral Boys Choir. Pop-slash-rock artists and bands associated with Trondheim include Age Alexanderson, Margaret Berger, Dum Dum Boys, Lasse Marhaug, Gota, Keep of Kalesen, Lumsk, Motorcycle, Carrie Roos Latin, The Third and the Mortal, TNT, Trace Mock and Easier. The Kids, Casino Steel, of the Boys, 
Adrix, Bloodthorn, Manes, Child Prodigy Malinrydon and Alexander with The most popular punk scene is Uffa. Georg Kyanus, creator of the band's collection, Sailor and Data, was born in Trondheim. The music production team Stargate started out in Trondheim. Trondheim is also home to Rockheim, the National Museum of Popular Music, which is responsible for collecting, preserving and sharing Norwegian popular music from the 1950s to the present day. Trondheim features a lively film scene, including three film fests, Minimal and Short Film Fest and Cosmorama International Film Fest in March, and Trondheim Documenter Festival in November. There is a cinema in the city center, Nova Kino Center. Granison, a Nordic skiing venue located in Biasen, regularly hosts World Cup competitions in ski jumping, biathlon and cross-country skiing, as well as the 1997 Fifth Nordic World Ski Championships. Trondheim attempted but failed to become the Norwegian candidate for the 2018 Winter Olympics. Hiking and recreational skiing is available around the city, particularly in Bymarka, which can be reached by the tramway. Trondheim Golf Club has a nine hole golf course in Biasen. Rosenborg BK is the city's premier football club and plays their home matches at Lurkendal Stadion. They have won the Norwegian Premier League 25 times between 1967 and 2017 have reached the UEFA Champions League group stage 12 times, and made it to the last eight on one occasion. Bison Eel plays in the Women's Handball League, and is a regular in the EHF Women's Champions League, playing their home games at Trondheim Spectrum. With students comprising almost a fifth of the population, the city of Trondheim is heavily influenced by student culture. Most noticeable is student or SAM funded I Trondheim, the city's student society. Its characteristic round, red building from 1929 sits at the head of the bridge crossing the river southwards from the city centre. As the largest university in Norway, the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, NTNU, is the host of some 36,000 students. Student culture in Trondheim is characterised by a long-standing tradition of volunteer work. The student society is for example run by more than 1,200 volunteers. Norway's largest sports club, is among the other volunteer organizations that dominate student culture in Trondheim. Students in Trondheim are also behind two major Norwegian culture festivals, UCA and the International Student Festival in Trondheim, ISFIT. NTNU lists over 200 student organizations with registered web pages on its servers alone. Trondheim culture is parodied on the Monty Python album Another Monty Python record in the form of the fictitious Trondheim Hammer Dance. Trondheim is also a key location in the universe, as it is a critical battleground for both factions. Trondheim was the name of a planet in the Hundred Worlds of the Enders game book series. Trondheim has an international airport, Trondheim Airport, Verns, situated in Stjordal, which is Norway's fourth largest airport in terms of passenger traffic. Verns has non stop connections to cities such as London, Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Stockholm, and Berlin. Among others. The domestic route Trondheim, Oslo is among the busiest air routes in Europe with around 2 million passengers annually. Busiest air routes major railway connections are the northbound Norland Line, the eastbound Mariker Line to Arendestesund in Sweden, and two southbound connections to Oslo, the Roros Line and Dover Line. The Coastal Express ships, Hurtigruten, covering the Bergen Kirkenes stretch of the coast, call it Trondheim as do many cruise ships during the summer season. Since 1994 there is also a fast commuter boat service to Kristiansund, the closest coastal city to the southwest. Every morning the Hurtigruten ships have one southbound and one northbound arrivals and departures in Trondheim. A car ferry route from the port of Flak in the northwest of the municipality, connects Trondheim with Fosun. Various bridge projects over the Trondheim fjord to replace the ferry have been planned, but none have begun construction. Trondheim also boasts the northernmost, since closure of Arkhangelsk tram in 2004, tramway line in the world, the Grakhalen line, the last remaining segment of the Trondheim tramway, is en route, which is mostly single track outside the innermost parts of the city, except the stretch between Breidablik and Nordry home stations, which runs from the city centre, through the Biasen district, and up to Liam, in the large recreation area by market. Trondheim boasts the world's only bicycle lift, tram. The bus network, operated by ATB, runs throughout most of the city and its suburbs. In addition, the NAT bus, night bus, service ensures cheap and effective transport for those enjoying nightlife in the city center during the weekends. 
The Napas has other prices than ordinary buses. The European Route E6 highway passes through the city center of Trondheim in addition to a motorway bypass along the eastern rim of the city. Trondheim is twinned with. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.